Welcome, Patriot Radio News Hour Show with Jason live on this Monday. I hope you had uh, a great weekend. Unfortunately, uh, the news doesn't stop. Uh, the uh, you know it would be great. The whole world should just go on a timeout every weekend, right? Whatever war is going on, whatever hatred is going on, uh, we all should agree. Maybe, maybe we should be more like the Europeans. Like, hey, you know what? Oh, it, it, it's Friday. Everyone take a timeout. Uh, we'll reconvene on Monday. Unfortunately, Jason, that's not how the world works. Uh, we're waiting for uh, what's ever going to happen in the Middle East to happen, uh, wh- whatever is going to happen financially, uh, the bond market. Are we going to get a speaker? How much money can the government actually spend? The list goes on and on and on. And, and I'll just say this, uh, the more it goes on, the better gold and silver look. 800-951-0592. That is our toll-free number. Allamericangold.com is the website. Uh, normally uh, on Mondays we have Joey. Joey was uh, had meetings again today, so he won't be able to join us. But again, I'm going to tell you right now. If you're one of those people, you're you're closing in on retirement. Uh, you've got questions. Uh, you're you're not happy uh, with what your financial planner is doing. Uh, get yourself protected every way you can. Listen, gold and silver does only so much. You got other assets that you need to look out for. That's where Joey comes in. Six zero two nine zero nine nine zero four. Eight, but uh, Jason, again, man, there's there's no shortage of stuff to talk about. Yeah, yeah, things are happening uh, a little more rapidly than they were last year, right, Joe? It's a little bit at a time, and it's it seems to be getting pretty heated up. We'll we'll see uh, how much the Israel Israel Hamas you know war in Gaza. We'll see how how that affects markets, uh, but I'll say this: you know, it's it's uh, it's a little irrational. Not that it should affect economic markets but that it's probably going to because people freak out right joe people are going to freak out about the news and that's fine because i'll tell you right now if the, the thing that happens in israel is, is is making you worried and that makes you makes you buy some gold maybe in this situation joe it's a it's a little it's a little okay to, to, to be worried about israel because the worst thing that will happen is nothing will happen and you'll end up with a larger pile of gold or silver joe well, yeah, I mean, I think the uh, for a lot of people, when they're they're watching what's happening, uh, I think some, you know, the the biblical side starts to come in, right? People start worrying about, uh, you know, uh, what what's going to happen uh, in that regard, and people just feel a, a lot less safe because let's face it, we know. That's a dangerous part of the world. People don't think uh, the way that we think they should think. And that always causes problems. And, and you know, there's a lot of things like like the border. Uh, they're flying across the border. I mean, wreck. I, I, it's amazing when you can say, well, now it's, it's a, a, even a bigger record. When uh, you're like, well, how many people can actually come in day after day after day? Uh, and, and more and more you're hearing the reports about uh, the, them coming in and the amount of people on the terrorist watch group and, and, and people, you know, there's protests uh, everywhere, not, and not just in other parts of the world, protesting here. And, and, and people are, are, I think rightfully so, they're concerned because nobody really knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows for sure what's going to – well, you know, somebody might. Maybe somebody knows, right? There's somebody out there making decisions, so maybe somebody knows, but that's the whole point. That's why they're in that position, and we have to uh, position ourselves as best we can for whatever unknown is coming. So, yeah, Joe, it's uh, we, we don't know, and uh, that's why you buy gold and silver. It's for all the unknowns. You know, gold and silver protects you economically from unknown situations because you hold it in your hands. When you physically possess it, only you know – how much you have and where it is if you choose. You, you can tell your wife or you can tell your kids or somebody, you know, you have, have a safety valve because you never know. You, if you're the only one that knows where it is and you've hidden it, that's, that's not good for when you pass on. But, but other than that, it's, it's, it's your decision, right, Joe? You trust who you want to trust. And uh, I tell you right now, I don't like trusting anybody in authority with 
the knowledge of some of the things I own. I love that little bit of privacy we still have. Yeah, well, and 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 I think that's the the other thing that that you're kind of hitting on here, that little bit of privacy, uh, privacy becoming something that, well, let's face it, privacy uh, in this day and age isn't necessarily a good thing anymore, right? They, they, they don't want people to have privacy uh, because, let's face it, uh, we can't control what you do uh, if you have it, right? And that's really kind of what, what, what's coming out of all of this, you know, really when you really deep, deep, deep into this. What is gonna What is gonna be the end result? Because uh, I I I don't think there's any doubt in my mind. There's this thing's going to get much bigger than what we are accustomed to uh, in the you know the Israeli Palestine thing. That's not new. We've been watching this for seventy some odd years, uh, but the intensity has changed. Right? This is much different, much larger scale uh, than what we uh, have been used to, especially in the last, say, 30 years. We haven't seen anything like this. And, and, and all kinds of different things are playing out, right? The government, we're broke, right? We're having trouble selling debt. It's wars expensive. At the same time, uh, we continue to lose a lot of freedoms, right? And, and what, what things are they going to do to say, well, this is what we're going to... To be able to cut off Hamas, we need to take away uh, this freedom and that freedom. Right? I think all of these things are in play. Pick the Radio News Hour. We'll be back after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Joe and Jason here on this Monday. A quick look in at the markets. Pretty flat. Pretty quiet uh, overnight. Uh, the ten-year note uh, got to like I want to say five point oh one five. You know, uh, above five percent. It's come off of that. Uh, right, kind of that. You know, trying to trying to find I guess a top. Here in the bond market, we'll see how that works out. Uh, crude oil is 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 down a little bit, not a lot, about seventy cents right now at eighty seven dollars. Uh, gold and silver kind of just kind of hanging around uh, right now. Gold's down four dollars uh, nineteen seventy eight. Silver uh, is off twenty cents uh, at twenty three thirty. Uh, but, but probably to be expected as uh, we had a huge, another huge rally last week. And I think uh, we're probably just taking a breather today. Hopefully we can get through today. Depends on what the news is going to be. But if ever there's been a time, you know, go back to probably, you know, the housing bubble and then the financial crisis. People waking up and say, "Man, I gotta, I gotta protect some assets here. I gotta really look out for myself because let's face it, these guys aren't looking out for us. Jay Powell's not looking out for us. He sat there, gave a speech last week. All he talked about was, oh, inflation's way too high, but we're not gonna raise rates. It's way too high, but we're gonna try to talk it down. Yeah, we're we're just gonna talk inflation down. Yeah, good luck with that. Get." Your assets protected. Uh, how about something not correlated to Wall Street? Wouldn't that be nice? How about something where you get a fixed rate of return? Well, I guess it would depend. Well, what kind of fixed rate? Well, we we talking three percent? Because I'm not. I don't want three percent, four percent. I mean, come on, inflation's more than that. How about to, up to ten point two five percent? Now that may get. Uh, hey, hello, right? That may work. Check them out. Check out our friends over at Y Refi Invest. YRefi.com. That's the word invest, the letter Y, R E F Y.com. Or just call them at 888 YRefi24. Now, you you guys know because we talk about it all the time. Got to have 50000 or more. That's a great thing. Maybe you got an IRA. And you're like, man, you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a change here. I'm going to take a little pause. I'm gonna, I, I, I don't like what I'm seeing over the next five years. I'm going to give these guys a call. It's fixed. That means you're going to get that number every single month, month after month, 
You can turn your income on. You can compound it. I mean, you can do whatever you want. That's the, the beauty of it. At any time, you can change. Hey, you may start out, hey, I don't want the income. Just keep throwing it on. Right? Keep adding it to me. And then, and then maybe, who knows, in a year, two years, you may say, you know what, hey, I, I want to start making some income. You know, I, I'm retiring. I'm getting my Social Security. I want to supplement that. You can do whatever you want. There are no fees. And if you ever need your money back, there's no attack on principle. None. You get all your money back. Call them. 888-Y-REFI-24. By the way, uh, Stellantis, the UAW, has announced they're expanding the strike there. So this UAW strike, it just gets worse and worse and worse. I I don't even know what to do. I mean, at this point... uh, the, the amount of the rate, it's so outrageous, right? I mean, 25, 30% raise. We want more health care. We want more. We want pensions. We want this and we want that. And, and, and you understand why they want it. But at the same time, you're like, man, are we going back? Because remember, right, we've been down this road before with the auto workers, right? They, they, they essentially, <clears throat> you know, Put, put them right out of business, pretty much. Uh, Jason, this is the slippery slope that, that happens when you've got clowns running our economy, when you've got clowns that are our central bankers, when you've got a clown at, at the Treasury, when you've got a clown as the president. Do you guys, anybody find it interesting? The first words out of Janet Yellen's mouth after uh, Hamas and the attack in Israel. What was the first thing she said? Oh, we can afford two wars. Right? That's the first thing she said. Oh, yeah, we can afford it. Don't worry, everybody. No, don't worry. Be happy. And at the whole, and, and at the same time, Jason, the bond market's freaking out saying, uh, I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, it, it's gotten to the point, Jason, where affordability has become a problem. And I'll bet out of all the unions that are considering striking or are actually striking, the United Auto Workers might be the one that has an open contract saying, hey, if the inflation gets worse, we need to uh, have something in there for that, Joe. I'll, I'll bet. I'll bet. And that's probably why this one's getting the most play because of what it is you know, and, and what they do. But I'll have a feeling that that, that that union might be smart enough to know that the inflation might not be done. So that's going to be hard to come to an agreement if they say, hey, we need 30 percent plus another 15 if things keep getting worse. Right, Joe? Well, you know, I, 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 again, I don't know where where any of this ends. Um, I, I know that as we watch things play out, things are getting a little more precarious every single day. There's another, hey, somebody's uh, threatening a strike or going to go on strike, or, or we get news like over the weekend, auto loan delinquencies. Uh, particularly, get ready, I know I... History tends to repeat itself. Uh, so I'm going to use a line from history uh, on, on auto loans. Don't worry. It's just a subprime problem. Rem- rem- remember that? Remember in housing? Well, guess what? Subprime auto loans. Borrowers that are 60 days late. So this is a little different now. It's one thing to, to be, you know, 30 days, you know, maybe maybe 45, but, you know, you're, you're just a month. I know this is 60 or more. So now you've missed two payments or more. They said that the amount of subprime borrowers that are at least 60 days late rose to an all-time record high of 6.1%. Jason, it, it, that's huge. Right? That's, that's like massive That when you're sitting there saying, and this was a September number, how much you want to bet if you did 30 days? That number was double digits. That, that would be my guess. But now, granted, right now it's subprime. <laughs> Just, this is exactly the same thing that we heard in in the housing market back when. Uh, But this is not something where, oh, my gosh, this this is the worst since COVID. 
or this is the worst number since the financial crisis. Uh Uh-uh. This is the worst number since they've been tracking the data on these types of numbers, Jason. Yeah, I think you're... Uh, your observation about the 30-day delinquencies, I'll bet that's that's double to triple what the uh, 60-day numbers are, Joe. It's, uh, it's, that's that's the snowball we talk about. That's that's exactly where things get from bad to worse and uh, things move in a much uh, more negative situation financially, Joe. So there's got to be a business out there for someone who can pick up these uh, lower-interest car loans, right, for people that can't pay for them. And I'm sure there's somebody out there working on that, right, scooping up those low-interest <laughs> car loans. Right, because it's, it's not about getting a, it's not about getting a car. It's about getting the uh, the lower interest rate on the loans these people can't pay. Right. And again, I don't know. Do they have a low? I mean, these are subprime, so they they already uh, were having a higher rate to pay. But auto loan rates have you? I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's crazy. It it's crazy. You're you're a you're you're me. Eight hundred plus credit score you're not getting zero percent you're not getting three percent right you're talking about what's seven right maybe on a new car you buy the right new car maybe you get five right because the dealer you know is offering an incentive uh and then anybody who's got any type of, of credit problem at all just plan on it being double digits, right? A double digit uh, auto loan, it, that's no joke. And especially, you know, the price of cars, they've doubled. In what, the last three years, the price of a car's doubled. I mean, pretty much doubled. Uh, this is going to be something where we're seeing it in credit cards. Now we're seeing it in the auto loans, right, Jason? It's just one thing after another. How about evictions? Right, we're we're looking at eviction rates uh, that that are at all time record highs for this time of year. Uh, the, the same thing, right, Jason? These are people. Hey, I can't pay my rent. I can't. You know what do I do? I can pay my rent, or I can pay my car payment. I can pay my rent, or I can pay my credit card bill. This is it. This growing. It, it's just this growing wave of stuff. And obviously, everybody wants to talk about what's going on in the Middle East. But, Jason, the rest of the world doesn't stop just for that. No. no, no, Well, I mean, uh, everybody has uh, bills to pay or everybody has a business to run. And so uh, if you borrowed money to to buy a house or a car or if you're saving money for this or that, uh, if your business is trying to sell this or that, or you're trying to open up another franchise, all this stuff is going to keep on happening. You know, under worse uh, economic situations, of course, there'll be a tightening and a business is closing and people, uh, you know, not being able to pay the loans. But yeah, the, the bit, you know, people need to get paid, Joe. It doesn't matter if you're rich and at the top end or if you're on bottom at the low end. Uh, the, the payments are expected, Joe. Those, you know, and yes, there's bankruptcies and there's all kinds of other, you know, situations and government handouts, but. All that's going to keep on happening. And let's face it, the government handouts did nothing but get speed up, right, Joe? It's uh, it, it, business as usual and, and maybe even more. Yeah, and I think that, uh, you know, we, we talked about Yellow Freight went out of business and Convoy uh, went out of business and the trucking side. Uh, now, now we're saying, hey, the, the, the repo man, right, uh, it's probably a good time to be a repo man. And then uh, – the UAW said they're now going to strike uh, at the Sterling Heights assembly plant uh, in Michigan. 6,800 more union workers on strike. By the way, that is the Ram 1500 pickup truck. So now the, the, the unions, right, Jason, they're starting to get real serious and starting to hit uh, the big three. With, with strikes where they make a lot of their money, right? The trucks and the SUVs, that's where they're making their money. I, I, I just don't know. We're, we're going to get – I, I want to say we get earnings out of the automakers this week. So it's going to be a very, very interesting week for them as well. There's a lot of question marks going on in the economy right now. 
I was looking it up. If you have if you have low credit and you're trying to buy a used car, the average percent interest on your loan is going to be 21.38 percent. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so I, I was nowhere. I'm like, oh, it's going to be double digits. You know, I'm, wow. That, that's that's Listen, like credit card rates. This is September. This is September numbers. Uh, if you have a, a 781 to 850 credit, the top end uh, interest on a used this is a used car. Interest on a used car is 7.09 percent. If you have high credit scores on a used car, so new car 5.07 percent with high credit. If you got or uh, for a new car, if you have bad credit and buy a new car, you're still going to pay 14.18 percent interest on that new car you buy that fifty thousand dollar car joe that's a that's quite a bit of interest you're paying on the front end yeah and uh, you know f no offense but a fifty thousand dollar car i mean it's not <laughs> you know it's not much it's car. Not like you know back in the day someone's like you got terrible credit why are you buying a fifty thousand dollar car right that that's just dumb uh and now you're just like mm, you know Fifty thousand dollar car has probably got a hundred thousand miles on it, you know, something like that. I mean, I, and I know you can get something, you know, some some things for less, but yeah, I know, right? The hits just keep on coming. No wonder why everybody's talking about gold going to new highs. We'll be back after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Joe and Jason, Patriotio News Hour here on this Monday. Uh, it has been incredibly busy. Uh, you know, a lot of people are kind of taking stock of, of what they're seeing, and I, I think a lot of it is. You know, obviously, a lot of it is what's going on in in Israel, but I think that's just kind of the straw that that broke the back that that everybody was already pretty nervous about the economy to begin with and this is kind of that that last you know log on the fire so things are gonna get uh, let me just tell you now I'm gonna warn you now delivery times are gonna stretch out and it's just gonna take longer to get product uh this is just kind of how it always happens i'm just going to tell everybody be patient uh there's going to be uh situations where some days uh we'll have uh not not a ton of great things and other days we'll have we'll have things it just depends today one of those days we're on the shorter end of things i've got but i've got a great item great price uh, I've got 50 $10 Liberty gold pieces. These are the old ones. And you know why we love the old gold. Why? Why do we love old gold? It's, simple. it's the most private thing you can own. Really, I mean, all, I'm hard to come up with anything that's more private than that. And what do I mean by private? I mean you can buy it, sell it, trade it. You don't have to give out your Social Security number. You don't get 1099. Uh, that 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 is private. 1866 to 1907. These are the half ounce pieces. Uh, regular price, eleven hundred and twenty dollars. Throw that out the window. Throw that out the window. One through nine, eleven hundred dollars. Ten or more. A thousand ninety-five, and like I said, there's only fifty. So it's first come, first serve. You want to buy them all? Buy them all. I don't care. First come, first serve. Ten dollar liberties, one through nine, at eleven hundred dollars. That's twenty bucks a coin. Ten or more, save twenty-five dollars a coin. At eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two and you know jason we're going to watch the bond market uh there's still no speaker of the house so i guess right now the one advantage of no speaker of the house congress can't spend any money and now we're we're three weeks away from the 
the, the 45 days where they said that they could go before we have a government shutdown. I mean, Jason, there's a lot of irons in the fire last week. There was talk about a, a an interim speaker right. of the House. Uh, I don't know what happened there. That kind of went away. They tried Jim Jordan one more time. Though that vote got even worse, right? So he, he every time he, he got less and less votes every time. This is going to be very, very interesting how all of this is going to play out. We know the Biden administration already, we knew before we went into the quarter that the Treasury was going to have to issue almost $900 billion of debt. That, that was just a fact. Of course, rates have gone higher since then. So now that number goes up. That's just how it works, because it's going to cost us more to fund the debt. On top of that, now they want $105 billion, uh, you know, and we're sitting here thinking, okay, this is, this is going to be the second quarter in a row where the Treasury needs to issue, Jason, over a trillion dollars worth of debt uh, in a single quarter and at a time where now the Treasury market's kind of, you know, not kind of, the Treasury market's saying, hey, listen, everybody's full right now. You know, some people listening to you, Joe, and, I, I, you know, when I was a casual listener of the Patriot Radio News Hour, when I was, you know, 10 years ago when I first started you know, listening in, you know, I didn't follow a lot of the stuff you and Eric were saying, you know, really closely. I hadn't learned all of this stuff, but... Uh, for the casual listeners out there, if you just turn this on, you're like, what is this guy talking about this? You know, the way that I might say that the things that happen to foreign countries don't really have to affect us if we would move away from foreign countries, that's, that's actually real. But what Joe's talking about, there's no escaping that for the average American. If you, uh, if you are buying a house or if you own a house, let's just say if you own a house or you have title to a house, and you think that the stuff that Joe's talking about doesn't affect you, uh, I can't wait for you to look at your tax bill in a few months, come and do, which has very little to do with with uh, with property values going up. It has to do with the inflation. I mean, I talked to a, a guy, uh, Joe, I think I told you recently about my insurance, and the insurance had gone way up on the house. And I was like, does that have anything to do with, you know, the, pro the property taxes going up? The insurance guy, even though we had the fires in, in uh, Lafayette or, you know, the last few years, and there's been some property problems around here to maybe, maybe make the supply of houses lower than they should be. But he's like, no, you, you pretty much nailed it. We can we could say it's all this other stuff, but your insurance rates went up 40 percent, which is what mine did. My, my, my homeowner's insurance went 40 percent. And he said, essentially, it's the property values coming out next year. Property values going up 40 percent next year. That's inflation. That's not because the houses are more valuable. The houses have kind of gone sideways. Okay, and, and I know that there's a lagging, there's a lagging factor for property evaluations, but the state will tax according to what their budget looks like, Joe. That's really what it comes down to, and their budgets are getting inflated like everything else, Joe. So if you, if you think of what Joe talked about, these, these numbers and, and interest rates and all this stuff uh, has no meaning for your, your daily life, then you just need to listen to more shows, right, Joe? I'm going to tell you, everybody I talk to, because everyone's insurance comes up at a different time, whether it's their homeowners, their auto insurance, right? You know, health insurance. Everybody's talking about how expensive. Everybody's shopping their insurance. Everybody. They're like, oh, my nowhere God. Nowhere to go. Right? There's nowhere cause, to go. <laughs> there, there's nowhere to go uh, with any of this stuff. And then, you, you know what? Here's one. Shame on me because I haven't even brought it up. The states are going broke again. The COVID yep. money is gone. Arizona, we're running a huge, huge deficit. And for the states, you're not allowed to do those things. There's going to be a dramatic cutback uh, in government spending at a time when, right, at the worst time. Right, the, the 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 federal government's having problems now. The states, uh, they're having problems, and of course, guess what? All the money the states have borrowed, all of that's costing more. Yeah, get your gold today. This is a special worth getting. 
800-951-0592. Jason and I, we're coming right back. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two, and you know, I don't know why, uh, but there's people out there that just they just don't want to know the truth. Uh, there's so many people. Oh, you know, Joe, Joe, Joe's just making it sound bad. It, it's really not going to be that bad. Let me just just during the break. I was curious. I'm like, what, what's the national debt up to now? How fast is this thing going? I mean, we just had hit $33 trillion. Then we added $500 billion in 20 days. I just look, we're getting ready to get to 3.7 trillion. So we're adding almost another $200 billion in the last 10 days. Jason, right now, it, it we're looking at a pace where every day it's, it's $20 billion a day, every day, day in, day out. And then, and then every 5 to 10 days, there's a special auction. Where we need a little more money and a little more money. Wow, we needed money for this or that. Uh, it's incredible what has been going on, the amount of, of debt. Now, the government said, well, last year we ran a deficit of $1.7 trillion. Now, that was the headline. They read the, I read the articles. They all said the same thing. But, oh, it's a, and it was up big. That was already up, you know, like 20 25% from last year. But that was total BS. So because Joe Biden couldn't do the student loan forgiveness thing, they subtracted $330 billion off the debt. So we actually, truthfully, ran a $2 trillion deficit. And here's the problem. What we've been doing so far this year makes the two trillion dollars look tiny. I mean this it's it's it really is mind blowing that we're we're yeah. gonna be talking about deficits and depending on what happens here, are we gonna be talking about uh three trillion dollar deficits already? I mean th- th- that was something we we're supposed to that's supposed to be not for a couple more years. Yeah if, if you back the number up and just look at the number Okay, because there's all on this show. There's numbers thrown around all over the place. Anything from trillions to even quadrillions. Then there's thousands, and then there's millions or billions. These numbers, you know, sometimes you got to just stop and and, and and analyze it. What's twenty billion dollars a day? What is that? That's sixty dollars for every man, woman, and child in this country every day. That gives you four hundred twenty dollars a week income for every single person that's an American. Every week, it's it's a seventeen hundred dollar a month income. If they simply just gave it, of course you can't do that. That would that's what causes the inflation. You can't. But but Joe, twenty billion dollars a day is sixty bucks per American. I wouldn't mind getting my sixty bucks, right? <laughs> Where's my sixty bucks? But that shows you how way out of control it is. Three hundred whatever million Americans. That's that's every billion that they spend per day is three bucks per person. If there's twenty billion a day, that's sixty bucks. That's the numbers, Joe. That that shows you it, that is out of control. That is ridiculously out of control. There is no government in in human history that can give all of their citizens sixty bucks a day for, for any meaningful length of time, Joe. And and, and there and again, like I said, we've got a bigger problem now afoot because the at the state level, none of them, none of them have adjusted their budget. And, and, and what do I mean uh, by that? And it simply means that they knew, they all knew, the COVID money was over. They should have known the economy slowing down and, all, and they're going to have less tax revenue. Uh-uh. They all went, oh, yeah, let's, you know, you know what they did? Here's what, essentially what they did. 
They all went down to the weed store, smoked a bunch of weed, and convinced themselves, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, chill out, man. We can just spend it. It'll be okay. Right, the, the, we're gonna get the munchies soon, and the the economy's gonna pick up. Yeah, dude. No, dude. No. And now every state, every Phoenix, Phoenix has like a four hundred million dollar deficit they gotta make up. That's a lot of money uh, for 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 a city. Uh, and guess what? Every month it gets a little worse. Right, the number keeps growing. Uh, it, it's out of all of this stuff is out of control once again. And here's the sad part. Nobody's listening. Nobody's home. Janet Yellen, she's, and I've said this for I don't know how long, the most dangerous woman of all time, maybe Janet Yellen, the most reckless, think about it, Janet Yellen, was the vice chair with the 2% inflation target that they just made up. Janet Yellen, 0%. Janet Yellen, quantitative easy, right? Janet Yellen, oh, yeah, shut down the economy, right? COVID's great. Everyone have a check, which is at the Treasury, right? Janet Yellen, oh, we can afford wars. Yeah, so what? Let's go. Go big. Remember, go big. Where, where, where is that now? And, of course, remember, they did all of this without ever causing inflation. Whoops. Whoops. And now guess what? Inflation's here, and they don't know how to turn it off. That's why gold's rallying. 800 951 Nine two. Jason and I were coming right back. Final segment of the day. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Today's special until they're gone, uh, and they are going quickly here. Ten dollar liberties. One through nine. Huge savings. Save $20 a coin at $1,100. If you buy 10 or more, save another $5. You're going to save $25 a coin. $1,095 on these $10 liberties at 800 951 When are people going to get tired of being lied to? How much more are we going to take? Oh, inflation's transitory. You really think they believed that line of crap? I just told you earlier about Jay Powell. Just had had a big, big press conference meeting at the Economic Club in New York City. Sat there and cried about, oh, inflation's too high. It's too high. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Excuse me? Well, yeah, no, we, we can't raise rates. You know. I mean, I'm going to tell you, well, well maybe, maybe we can, you know, later, but, but, but we're, we're, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that it doesn't get worse. I mean, if that's what you want, I guess, you know what, keep your money in the bank. Keep your money in the bank. Why not? Yeah, go, go ahead and keep your fingers crossed that there's, it's still going to be there. You know, people just, they're, they're that dumb. And I, and I don't mean dumb as in they're not intelligent. They've just been propagandized. A lot of people, you know what? They just can't handle it. They listen to this show and literally, oh, my God, I can't handle it. Because none of it sounds good. I can't handle it. I can't do it. I can't deal with it. I'm going to have a panic attack. I keep listening to Double. I'm going to have a panic attack. (laughs) The Diamondbacks. How about the Diamondbacks? Let's talk about the Diamondbacks. Joe, it exposes people's shortcomings in some knowledge in some areas. It's okay if you don't have the economic knowledge. This is why you come here, learn a little bit with us, and we'll we'll walk you through it. Right, Joe? And the thing about it is, is, is they've got people believing 
that they should be afraid, that it's too scary. Uh, you know, yeah. Jason says it all the time. You know who the, the most calm people are? And, 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 you, know, you won't know it for me because I get all fired up and I like to. It just makes me so angry. It's people that buy gold, people that got silver put away. They're not worried, right? They're just sitting back going, yep, yeah, see, I knew it. And, and you know what's funny, and I've said this a bunch lately, right? We used to be the outcast, right? Oh, that's just my crazy brother, right? Oh, that's a crazy uncle. Oh, that's, that's grandpa. You know, he's nuts. Nobody treats you crazy. Anybody out there, when you talk to anybody, you're talking about, yeah, but I, I'm buying gold right now or I'm buying silver right now. They, they, don't, they don't even look at you crazy anymore. Even the ones that don't want to. I don't want to listen. I don't want to know. Deep down, they know. And that's the thing. You know you know, and yet you still do nothing. Well, guess what? I'm giving you a gift today on $10 Liberties. One through nine, eleven hundred dollars Ten or more, $1,095 at 800 951 Jason and I, we're coming right back with the Half Empty Cup.